Welcome to this technical corner. We have a masterclass in cutting tools. I'm joined by Peter Ward from NTK Cutting Tools. Now, in this particular technical corner, we're going to be discussing the aerospace sector and how your products, especially the ceramic products that you supply, can drastically increase productivity and efficiency. So my first question, Peter, why ceramics? Well, Joe, uh, if you think about uh, the, the main reason to use ceramics is, it stems from the physical properties of ceramics now uh, compared to carbide. Uh, ceramics, one of its physical properties is it retains its hardness at uh, high temperature, which means we can use uh, much higher cutting speeds, elevated cutting speeds than carbide. And if you talk about how much faster, we're talking about between 10, 15 times faster. Wow. So whereas you've, you might turn in canal between 50 and 100 meters with carbide, our newest grade, um, we've got jobs running up to 500 meters a minute. Wow. Um, yeah, so it, it's, a, it's a transformational change. So you're not looking to save minutes, you're looking to save hours. So why isn't everybody within the aerospace industry that have got the right application using ceramics then? I think uh, there's a few reasons probably. I think maybe education is one. Maybe people have had a bad experience in the past. And also the application has to be right for ceramics as well. So things like the machine tool, the component, you know, we can't machine everything. So all things have to come together really, you know, to achieve those sort of levels. So effectively then, if if I was Mr. Customer and I was, I was looking to introduce ceramics to improve my process, would it be a complete process change? Normally, yes. Because of the way to successfully use ceramics, the programming styles do, do differ from carbide. Um, there's three, four rules that you need to follow. It's not complicated by any means. Mm. Ceramic program actually is very simple. Um, and it's all based around the other big physical property of ceramic, which is it has low breaking strength. So all your programming and all your thinking uh, has to be based around, you know, avoiding shock load, that kind of thing. So what are the free rules? Well, if you think about the rules to ceramic, as I say, it, it, it's, it's all based around protecting the ceramic from shock. So the first operation, say you were turning a turbine ring, for instance, we always like to prepare the part. So you're looking at either pre-chamfering the part or ramping into the part. This is always protecting the insert. As a guide, only the first insert that you use should be going into rough material. All the other subsequent inserts should be working off that. So preparing the part is the first one. Second one is because of the breaking strength, for roughing, we only use very strong shaped inserts. Round, uh, you know, round inserts is obviously the best, it's the strongest shape. Next in the hierarchy would be square inserts with a large radius, and you know, so on and so on. The third rule really is we only use rhomboid shaped inserts, CNMG, DNMG, really for small finishing cuts and cleaning out corners. And there's some programming areas about that that people need to know as well. So are the barriers to entry effectively education? You've mentioned programming a few times. So as well as changing a complete process, you need to be knowledgeable in regards to the feeds and speeds. It wouldn't just be a case of replacing the carbide end mill with a ceramic end mill. No, no. I think you have to start from scratch. And we have to educate the customer as well because certain things, as well as the programming side, that's one thing. You have to make sure the part's suitable, for instance, because we run so fast. If the part's out of balance, probably not uh, that good for ceramic. Um, so, it, you know, has the machine got enough power, enough coolant pressure? So all these things have to come together to, you know, to have a successful thing. And, and as well as that, it's things that you'd expect from carbide. Surface finish, long tool life, um, chip control. They're not really the objective with ceramics. It's about metal removal. Right now, with the metal removal, you've got different three different grades. Is that correct? Can you explain yeah. the grades for applications? There are obviously application specific. They are, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's three material groups really. There's about ten grades altogether. So the three material groups are, 
You've got the oldest one, which is Whisker Ceramic, which people will be familiar with for aerospace, been around a long time. That's aluminum oxide with silicon carbide whiskers, which you know make the insert stronger. Very good for flank wear, for grooving uh, sort of operations. You've got Cylons, which are tougher than uh, the other ceramics, so you'd use those, say, for milling. Then you've got our brand new composite material. It's not even a ceramic, it's a, it's a whole new generation of, of, of uh, materials. That's the Bidemics. Um, and that's the one where you're using very, very high speeds, say turning in canal up to 500 metres a minute. Wow. So it's a, you know, a huge wow. you know, change. Phenomenal. Peter, thank you very much. So there you have it, a technical corner that you just couldn't afford to miss, especially if you're in the aerospace industry. And if you're looking to save hours, not minutes, contact NTK to come and have a look at your applications.